Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are <clears throat> going to spend some talent points in some blueprint points. So, here's the thing. Uh, I have discovered that uh, we continue to get blueprint points every time we level up to 99, which was something they added in a later update. I was originally told that we stopped getting those the blueprint points at level 40, but it's actually the talent points that we stop getting at level 40. The blueprint points keep coming, which is which is great because now that opens up a lot more things, you know, for us to be able to get in the blueprints. And now that I know that for future reference, you know, if I roll a new character later on, which I probably will, um, you know, then I can spend those points a little more, <clears throat> um, a little more freely too, I guess is the word. Um, so that being said, as you can tell, I am now level 41, uh, up in the upper left hand corner. And I, I went ahead and just grinded uh, to level 41 off camera. I did that by hunting polar bears and by mining pretty much. Um, and I wanted to, I wanted to just see what would happen once I hit uh, 41 and I did indeed get more blueprint points. And then after that, I actually looked it up anyways. Uh, so we're going to spend uh, some points. We have lots of points to spend. And, um, but we only have four talent points left and, and my understanding is that the devs are looking into, I guess, a, a respec option, but we don't have that in the game as of right now. So those last four talent points are all we're going to get. So we're going to have to really decide how we want to spend those. All right. So let's get, jump in and look at those. Um, so what I was, what I would like to do but I don't think I'm going to be able to is go down this uh, tree here so that we can get to Arctic Master which will give us a plus 15 cold resistance um, and movement speed in the Arctic um, so as long as each one of these opens up the next one with one point we can hit that but I'm not sure if that's what it's going to do of course, exposure resistance. Um, oh, I guess exposure is storm. It means storm exposure too. By the way, I was, I was wondering what exactly that meant earlier, and that's what that means. So we could go that route, um, or we could go back into uh, combat. And you know, since we're we've kind of specialized in guns already, we've already got knives. You know, just knife damage in particular maxed out. Um, we could we could do this so freebie a five percent chance to craft additional ammo I don't see find that all that useful because ammo is actually pretty inexpensive well at least rifle ammo is um, sharpshooter increased critical hit multiplier on firearms that would be nice to have uh, new life 30 percent chance uh, after durability eh. how many shots chance not to consume ammo Okay, yeah, I mean, none of those are like, none of those seem super amazing to me. Uh, accuracy would be good, actually. And Gunsmith would probably be pretty good, too. So th there's those options. Now, we also could, what does this do? Critical damage with knives, that wouldn't be bad. I'm just looking at these guys because I've already invested partway into some of these trees, as opposed to starting something new at this point. Um, if we went here, maximum durability of crafted bows, that would unlock chance to craft double, cheaper bow crafting, increased critical hit multiplier on bows. That would be a good one. Hindering shot. Oh, that would be really good because that would slow them. Arrow strikes bleed your target over time. Oh, yeah, that'd be good too. Um, so we could unlock this stuff by just taking this one here the thing is is i'm not i'm not using the bow a lot i mean i'm planning on building the compound bow and taking the composite arrows now that we can because i just you know it's fun I, I i love the bow i think it's it's cool but like i said we've really invested heavily in firearms in the future i don't know i mean, I don't know if that I would go the shotgun route again. Uh, definitely the rifle. The rifle has super impressed me with how much damage it actually does. But the shotgun, hmm, I don't know. I, I, we'll see how useful it, it continues to be later on in the future. 
Um, anyway, okay, so yeah, we got to make a decision here. <laughs> we got to make a decision here. I, I mean, none of these would be a bad thing to have. Exposure recovery rate, storm chaser. I really would like to get down to Arctic Master if we can. So I think we're going to try it, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and, you know, we deal with it. Okay, so Storm Chaser. Weathering the storm. Oh, no, it doesn't open it up. All right, well, we screwed that up, didn't we? <sighs> okay. Does it want us to... What does a little chevron mean? I don't know what that means. Okay, well, we are, we're obviously not going to be able to get down there. And by the way, the polar bear armor is down here, which uh, we're not definitely not going to be able to get to. Okay, well, that being the case, let's go back to combat. And is it possible to get to hindering shot? Or should we do freebies and try and get to sharpshooter? Assuming we can. I think these, like the Chevron and all that business, must mean we qualify for it because we've taken enough earlier points. I'm guessing when that's what that means. <clears throat> so, and it, because it's lit up, I guess that means we can take it. So, yeah, let's, let's just get 5% extra critical damage with firearms. If if I if I would have known we weren't going to be able to get through that other one, I would have put all these points into here. But you know, it's I'm this is my first time playing. Keep in mind too, guys, I don't really I haven't really watched other people play this game. I've I've wanted to kind of experience for you know experience it organically, if you will, on my own. And I know I've made mistakes, and I'm okay with that because you know I'm learning the game, and there there I've learned certain things that I'll do different next time. So you know it is what it is. Okay, so that takes care of the talents. Let's go into the tech tree here. Um, okay, so points, um, uh, blueprint points, we can spend a lot more freely. Uh, so let's go to tier four. We have a total of 14 that we can spend right now. Um, so let's go, uh, let's do the composite arrow <clears throat> because we can. And um, we might as well do the titanium axe too. Um, by the way, in the future, what, you know, one thing that I will do in the future is I'm not going to upgrade to platinum tools. Uh, I'll probably stick with steel until I can get all the way to titanium. Uh, well, on the other hand, though, since we have so many points to spend, maybe, I, yeah, maybe we will anyways. Um, we could get the flashlight. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the lantern seems to do really good. Does this require, like, batteries? Or does it just have perpetual light? That could be useful, actually. Now that I think about it. Um, we could try the directional work lamp. A basic lamp for illuminating a large area. But again, how does that... That's probably... You probably have to have electricity for that. You know what I was thinking, though? Is... Um, See the problem with like the electric deep mining drill is you have you'd have to have a generator in a cave. Um, so the same thing with the dehumidifier. So you'd have to haul all that shit into a cave and then have to haul it all back out. But tier three, I think, has a gas-based drill. Um, so you know you still have to haul the drill in, but you wouldn't have to haul in a generator. Yeah, this thing here. I think we're going to try that. Let's give that a try. Um, the incendiary rifle rounds. 250 to 250 projectile damage. Okay, so these do less f physical damage. But then they're going to add, you know, it, it says explosive damage. I thought it would be more like fire damage. We could try those. I it I just don't know how effective the fire would be. Yeah, let's give it a try. What the hell? Okay. Um, the hunter armor I think is just like high tech camo armor. Um, so I'm not really too concerned about that right now. 
Uh, I'm not really too concerned about making an aluminum building either. I just I like the stone for one thing. So yeah, I, I don't know that we'll do anything in in those trees there. Uh, but let's go back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Actually, you know what? The thermos is with better, th like a canteen, but with better thermal protection. So it provides the cooling modifier for 15 seconds. That's it. Plus heat. So this is this would be good for when we get to the desert. So we're going to buy that. Uh, I want the lights for the house. So let's get those. Binox would probably be nice. Um, small iron crate. Iron cupboard. This has 50 storage slots. How many storage slots does this have? 40. Okay. So getting um, this, <clears throat> not so much because it's iron, but because it has 10 more slots would probably be a good idea. Um, but uh, the kitchen bench... A modular workspace for cooking and concocting complex recipes. I wonder if that gives us more stuff than the... Wait a minute. I thought I already learned the bread dough recipe. What the hell? Oh, flat bread. This is bread bread. Oh. Oh, okay. I see. There's a biofuel stove here. I'm I'm trying not to go batshit crazy here, too, because, I mean, we're going to have more points, but, you know, it's going to be a while before, one, once I spin this little group, then we're going to back to only three per, you know, per, per deal. Um, I wonder, though, if we should go back to Tier 2 for a second and get this antibiotic tonic, because if we got this and made a bunch of it, we wouldn't necessarily need to take the dehumidifier into caves because this will completely cure us of pneumonia. We'd still have the other cave debuff, but that's not too too terribly bad. Um, Yeah, I think we're going to do that because I don't... Anti-poison pill. Oh, that requires the tonic. Oh, and it gives you... It, okay, so it gives you the buff for 600 seconds. This doesn't give you a buff at all. So so what this does is it actually prevents, um, for 600 seconds, pneumonia. But, I mean, how useful is that? You have to use an antibiotic tonic to make this. Why not just have several antibiotic tonics, and if you get pneumonia twice in a row, just take two. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Not sure about that. Um... We're not doing any any platinum stuff. Uh, I think, you know, berry jam and bread dough, wine and beer, that stuff might be really useful to get. Um, I don't know why you would want a smoke grenade. A frag grenade, on the other hand, could be useful. Metal oxide dissolver. This is probably just, yeah, it's going to be faster than what we have, but <clears throat> I don't know. It gets the job done. So glass working bench, we would have to get that to make the jars and bottles and all that. So, all right, you know what? I, 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 we have five points left. So let's go back to the tier three or tier two tree. And since we know we're not going to be able to get the polar bear armor, um, let's go ahead and get fur armor for for snow. And that spends all the rest of our, our current points. And then, but, you know, now that we know we have points that we can continue, um, you know, spending, we'll get three every time we level, um, we're in good shape. So we still might look at the pop-up belly stove at some point, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, but cool. Okay. So we got some new toys to play with now. Also, uh, I have been mining like crazy. Uh, so we've got, you know, I've got some extra just raw ores in here. Uh, we're going to need raw gold and raw iron to make the composite stuff. Okay. So let's, Let's put um, this stuff back in here for now. Oh, by the way, I did kill a whole bunch of, of polar bears off camera, and I got a, a full stack and then some of cooked prime meat. So I've been using that, but of course it's it's starting to go down. Um, we might as well eat it now because it's going to go bad anyway. Okay. 
Now, um, so we have everything we need to make the furnace, the electric furnace. As you can see, everything's already, uh, I put everything in here already, except for we need some more steel ingots, which we can grab out of here. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's get that sucker made because that's going to open up um, new options for us, including making the composite itself. Okay. And now this is going to, whoops. Um, I, I accidentally left my axe in there. Okay. So this is going to basically do everything that these guys do and more. Um, so we have a junction right here. What I think I might do is move the biofuel um, somewhere else. And, you know, we got the whole entire upstairs. I'm going to probably have to start putting some things up there. You know, we don't use the crafting bench hardly at all anymore. So maybe we should take some of the older stations. We don't use this anymore and put those up there and so we can make room for the newer stuff. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and stick this guy here. I want to try and line it up with this beam because that's where the wire is. So we got nice straight wiring. And we're going to set it right there. Okay, let's get the wiring tool. And we want to go into this junction here. Oh, how come it doesn't... Um, I want it to come out the side. Why won't it come out the side? What? How come this one's coming out the side? What if we do it the other way around? What if we connect to this? Okay, go up to... Can't tell if it's, it's flat there or not. I think it's... No, it still wants to connect that way. Weird. Okay. Um. Oh, you can like add little junctions anywhere along the thing. Okay, cancel placement. Um. How do we remove the wire again? I remember we could do that. Is it Y? No. Cancel placement. Oh, right. Okay. I thought that just meant the one that I was currently running. Uh, all right. Well, I guess it, if this is not going to... What if we... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, it, it's going to curve out, so I guess we can't do anything about that. It's just going to have to be a curved wire, so it is what it is. All right. So we'll put this right about here uh, no that's a little too far in it's a little too far in so we're gonna put it right about here oh you know what though that's um <laughs> that isn't gonna work either for Pete's sake okay Um, this is really bizarre wiring, man. I've got to, I got to say, uh, okay. Let's try this again. If we go to, what if we go straight along here? Why is that got a little curve thing on it? I don't know. It looks like it needs to be right on the other side of this beam to be straight. And then maybe if we go to here, why is it crooked? <laughs> Stupid game, you're killing me. All right, this is pissing me off. <laughs> Stop. No, it's not pissing me off, it, it's actually kind of funny. I was trying to figure this out, man. All right, you know what? Maybe what we do is, what if we connect into, here 
And then... Yeah, and then we, we can actually move the furnace over. Okay. Hold on a second. Remove that. And redo this. Oh, that's that made that wire not straight now. Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just very difficult to make the wiring straight in this game. Maybe that's all there is to it. Uh, I'd like to kind of move this over anyways, so it's spaced a little bit better. So let's put this here. Spaced a little bit better between the cabinets and the other furnaces. All right. Now, if we run off of here and just go up to the ceiling, that would need to be right about there and right about there. And then we could junction into that. It wants to curve back that way, though. All right, no, we can't. We're going to have to come from here to there. <clears throat> Now get it a little further over though. Yeah, okay. That's a little better. Now I think we're gonna have to come to here because there's gonna be a bit of a curve as it goes down. Uh we could have come back a little more, maybe maybe almost to the beam there. Sorry guys, I know I'm kinda taking him a long time to do this but I want it to look good all right so <clears throat> we're gonna come to the beam there and then curve it down there ah shit now it's not straight that way <laughs> damn it Jim try to get right to here I think I'm too far over this way now um You know what? That's good enough. <clears throat> I, I don't have all day for this. Yeah, the wiring's a little odd. I, I kind of like the way it works, but I wish that... I wish that we could um, junction out all four sides, you know, of the boxes there. That's still, that's still bugging me. I, I'll work on that off camera. I'm not going to waste any more video time trying to figure that out. Okay, um, so let's turn on this... And now we can make a composite. So, so to do that, we're going to need to make composite paste. And we do that in here. By the way, this little material processor is just freaking amazing how fast it goes. I love it. Okay, so to make the composite paste, we need all of that stuff. Iron ore, silica ore, gold ore, and an organic resin. Okay, so let's grab... Um, let's grab... Four stacks of iron ore, two stacks of gold, because it's two to one ratio on that stuff. And we'll put that in there. Right? Yeah, two iron for one gold and one silica. And then let's also do uh, two silicas. And there we go. Okay. Let's make a hundred of those. Wow. <clears throat> okay, that takes a little bit of time. Uh, imagine... Well, we can't even make it at all in here anyway, so it doesn't matter. This 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 little guy is super slow. All right, while we're waiting for that, let's put some more wood in here. Keep our fire going, because it makes things nice and cozy in here. And um, we're going to grab those ten and stick them in here. And oh, it's just automatically on with the power. Okay. All right. Wait. Can I? I can't turn it off or on. Then why is there a button there? <laughs> Maybe that's not working or something. 
All right, we've been waiting for this stuff for a long time to make new stuff, guys. Um, so uh, we're going to start with our armor. So the armor is going to require whoo, a lot of composites. Uh, we have a pretty decent amount of everything else that the armor requires. Let's grab a couple of stacks of aluminum out of here and put them in here. Um, oh, we never put the biofuel compost, uh, <laughs> composter down. Let's get this thing out of here. I'm not using it. Um, we're just going to throw it upstairs somewhere. And yeah, whatever. We'll fix that later. So we'll kind of line up our old uh, workstations. Oh, okay, hold on a second. Guess I don't have a spot for it. Uh, just kind of, you know, up along the perimeter of the wall up here. Because I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything up here for the rest of this prospect. Uh, I'm not planning to at this point anyways, but we'll see. I can always reserve the right to change my mind. Um, you know what? Let's put... Got all this polar bear pelt too, man. It sucks that I can't use it now, but... Like I said, you know, I, I've, I've learned how this game works. Or am learning how it works. And we will definitely do things different next time around. Um, but yeah, let's just put all that stuff in there. And... I guess we'll pick that up. Um, I guess we'll store, let's just store all the spoiled meat in there because we still might need it for medical reasons. Uh, we are going to make a Kim bench, so we may end up putting it in there later. Now, we are going to make ourselves a, an electric composter. But until we do that, I think what we'll do is we'll keep, well, we might put the Kim bench there. You know, I don't use, I do use this, but I don't use it a ton. So this could probably go upstairs. I don't think it needs to stay down here. Plus it's kind of gangly looking anyway. So yeah, let's put the concrete mixer up here. I do need to use it to make some more concrete though. Uh, so we're just going to stick it along this wall here. All right. And then that opens up this slot here. And for the moment, we'll put the, the bio thingy here, but it may end up getting moved to at, once we continue making more of this high tech stuff, but we'll just keep it there for now. Okay. So put the resin stuff in there and the wood in there and, uh, the biofuel can. Okay. So let's grab uh, more of this and put it in here. And we'll continue making more of those composites. This is awesome, guys. We're moving up in the world. Uh, so this is another thing we can move uh, because I don't use it very often anymore. Ooh, I got a bunch of silica in there, too. So we'll move that. Uh, we still use the cooking station. I believe the chemistry station will replace this. <clears throat> um, but that being said, I would like to actually make some of this. Uh, so we need some epoxy and charcoal. Epoxy. Uh, let's grab, split that stack. Grab these 14. We have a full cabinet of charcoal here. So, oh, actually, here, let's, instead of that, let's just put this in here. And uh, we will put the epoxy in there. And we have a bunch of charcoal in here, too. There we go. Um, let's make 14 of those. Beautiful. <laughs> and again, you know, that means we could, we don't necessarily need to take the dehumidifier with us anymore in caves. We'll just take a bunch of those and if we get pneumonia, we pop that and we're good to go. Let's grab the rest of the comp uh, comp composite paste out of there and throw them in there. Okay, now let's grab our first, uh, or let's just grab however many composites we currently have. And we're going to start with the chest piece. Boom. Okay. Next, we'll make the legs when we get more composites. So 
Uh, let's see. So this chest armor is eight physical resistance. Our new chest armor is 16, so it's twice as good. Uh, plus it gives plus five cold resistance. So it's not going to be quite as good in the snow biome, but that's why we made the fur armor. But it does have six exposure resistance, so it's twice as good on that too. All right, let's put that on our chest. Very cool. High tech armor, baby. That's what we're talking about. Uh, we will hang on to the leather armor. We'll just keep it. Uh, I guess we can keep it in here. Do I have any more room in here for... Here, let's get that stuff out of there and put it back in here. And... Why did I put gunpowder in there? I don't know. <laughs> we'll put that in there. Alright, how? what do the leg leggings need? Uh, whatever they need, that's enough. So we'll make those. And then next we'll do the helmet. Alright, so these guys... Probably double the physical protection of these legs. So we get 6 and 12. Yep, okay, nice. Looking good, man, looking good. Next we'll make the helmet. So we need 12 composites for that. We have 8 so far. Um, Alright, you guys, well, I'm going to cut the camera here. And actually, no, I'm probably going to end the episode here. We're, we're already 30 minutes into this, wow. Time flies when you're having fun. All right, let me tell you what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to finish making my armor. I'm going to make a titanium pick right now because I can. Um, oh, shit. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to make an axe. Damn it, Jim. All right, well, we have a spare titanium pick now. That was stupid. Um, I'm going to make the, com the compound bow, the composite arrows, the electric composter and the chemistry bench. I'm going to do all that off camera. And once all that stuff's made, I'll figure out where I'm going to, you know, rearrange everything uh, by, again, moving the older workstations upstairs. When that's done, I'll bring you guys back in the next episode and we will do the next thing, which I'm not even sure exactly what that next thing's going to be. Uh, I will say this, though, and I've said this at the end you know, towards the end of the last few episodes, we are, our time here on this prospect is drawing to a close. Um, so we may not, uh, we may, we may not stick around too much longer than that, but, uh, we'll just see how things go. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.